when content creator Kelly Conogar heard that some Malaysian workers were stranded in Singapore in the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic in March 2020. She took to her social media platforms to connect those in urgent need of housing with people who were willing to host them. Although the process was tedious, the 34-year-old said she carried out her role as an informal real estate agent for about a month and she received hundreds of requests for help. She eventually assisted about 25 stranded workers. An online portal could streamline the process and get help to those in need quicker, said Miss Conoga, who also housed two workers in her three-room Marceline flat for about three months. The Ministry of National Development MND and real estate platform Mogul.sg announced earlier in March that they were teaming up to launch such a portal, which will be activated only in the event of a national crisis. This refers to grave emergency situations where the security or economic life of Singapore is threatened. The coronavirus pandemic was one example. The portal is in development and is expected to be ready around the first half of 2025. With the portal, those in need of emergency housing will be able to view available residential listings and the conditions set by homeowners, such as the length of stay and suitability for families or pets. There is potential for the site to be launched within a day or two of an MND activation notice, Mogul.sg, Managing Director Simon Yayo, told The Straits Times. Outdoor Instructor Ruby Tan. 36, who hosted two Malaysian workers for about two months in 2020, said the portal would make it easier to match people willing to host with those in need. I was willing to host Malaysians stranded here. But it took time asking around and being linked to several people before finding someone we could host, she said. Marketing executive Amr Hazem, 39, who manages the Couchsurfing Singapore Facebook page, said the initiative is welcome, but he also hopes for a channel that homeowners and their guests can reach out to, should the situation turn sour. Some safety and security concerns could arise, such as instances of theft, language barriers, or general misunderstandings, he said. Also, if the crisis is a pandemic where isolation is required, shared spaces may not be the best option. Under the pact with MND, Mogul.sg will ensure that processes to verify the eligibility of users and a robust legal framework are in place to protect users. The ministry said details about eligibility for emergency housing will be made known to affected individuals during a national crisis. Rent, it added, should be agreed upon between homeowners and those affected, and the government will not dictate this. Mr. Amer said informal arrangements, such as couchsurfing, are not ideal during national crises, as they are more suitable for hospitality exchange during normal times. Ideally, those in need can be housed in shelters or hostels with basic living facilities and privacy. Mr. Amer added that he tried to rally homeowners to open their homes to stranded Malaysian workers in March 2020, but the authorities soon stepped in to house them at Jurong East Sports Hall, which was converted into a temporary relief centre. The authorities said then that a small number of Malaysian workers, including 14 found at Kronji MRT station, were taken to the centre and given basic necessities, such as toiletries and sleeping bags. News site Today had reported that several Malaysian workers, who had entered Singapore to avoid a nationwide lockdown in Malaysia, were seen sleeping rough near the station. Malaysia's lockdown to control the spread of COVID-19 took effect on March 18. 2020, it sent companies in Singapore scrambling to find accommodation for workers who typically commute to work daily from Johor. Mughal.sg's Mr. Yayo said he anticipates significant demand for its crisis portal, especially during emergencies such as the pandemic. 
The portal fills a critical gap, he said. MND said the service will be free for homeowners and affected individuals. As part of the agreement between Mogul, SG and the Ministry, the firm will absorb all operational costs related to the portal. Mr. Yayo said the company and MND had brainstorming sessions to determine the portal's workflow and to outline clear steps for homeowners offering their properties and people seeking emergency housing. Mogul.sg and MND will also work together to identify and address any bugs or issues to ensure that the portal operates smoothly when launched during a crisis. He added, The design of the portal is still being worked on, and Mr. Yayo expects it to be ready by mid-August. Asked about plans to get homeowners on board when the portal is activated. He said the firm will publicize and promote the site to them and encourage them to take part. But he expects some challenges in reaching out to homeowners who may not understand the urgency and importance of their participation during a crisis. To tackle this, Mr. Yayo said Mogul.sg plans to reach out to its existing users by email and other homeowners via social media. It could also team up with community organizations or the authorities to spread awareness. He added, MND said it has been exploring ways to increase the supply of emergency housing and strengthen the country's readiness for future crises. The ministry added that it is open to forming partnerships with other platforms. Property platform 99.co had helped to screen and match Malaysian workers to Singapore residents who were willing to offer temporary housing for free in March 2020 during the pandemic. Mr. Darius Chang, chief executive of 99 Group, which operates 99.co, said the company successfully fulfilled more than 100 requests for assistance thanks to help from homeowners and co-living operators. He added that the firm is interested in joining hands with government agencies and other partners. Looking ahead, we stand vigilant and ready to launch similar initiatives as needed. He said.